What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at an Uber SQL interview question. Let's get into it. Now this one's called Highest Total Miles. It's hosted on stratasearch.com. We're going to be able to implement our solution and check whether it is correct during the interview. And the task says you're given a table of Uber rides that contains the mileage and the purpose for the business expense. You're asked to find business purposes that generate the most miles driven for passengers that use Uber for their business transportation. Find the top three business purpose categories by total mileage. Now there's a lot in there. I'd say we have one table called my Uber drives. So let's just preview that. We have a few columns, start date, end date of the ride. We have a category which says business for many of these. So I think we're gonna be able to use that quite easily and just filter to category being business. It's great. We have a start, stop in terms of location. We have miles in terms of distance and we have purpose in terms of, yeah, purpose of the ride within that category. So it could be a business meeting and the purpose should could still be a meeting or a customer visit or a meal or client entertain, whatever that is. <laughs> but let's think about how we're gonna implement this. So. We're trying to find the top three business purposes, business purpose categories by total mileage. I think it's a bit confusing. Let's just look at the expected output to see what we need. We want the purpose column in there, which is our last column in the input table, and we want the mileage summed up. I think we can do that. We should limit that to the top three. Let's just get into our solution by stating that we want to filter the table on category being business. We want to sum up the mileage. Order by mileage, have the highest on top pretty much. And then limit our output to the first three rows. Now that's my understanding of the question. We want to have three rows in there. It could be the case that they want, well, if there's a tie, they might want to have four rows or anything, but I think for this one, it's very unlikely that we're gonna have a tie since the mileage numbers are that high. It would be very coincidental for two to be exactly 2,851.3 or 911.7. So I think this approach is fair. So let's select star for now from my Uber drives. drives and create that filter. So category should be business and um, yeah, I think that's, that's part one actually. Let's just run that to see whether we have any bugs in there yet. Doesn't seem to be the case. We have all business category rows in there. So let's just sum up the mileage. I think it's literally gonna be sum of miles. Let's call that a mile sum as in the output. And we also want to specify for which purpose that is. We want to sum it up per purpose. So we're gonna group by purpose here as well to express that we want to do that. It is not ordered yet. We have a null purpose in there, or we have, we often have no purpose given, and we also sum up the mileage for that, and that would be on top here actually. Speaking about being on top, let's talk about ordering or introduce ordering as well. We want to order by that mile sum as well, and we want to do that Descending these so that the highest value is top. I'm just gonna state two, which should be the second column here, because it can be confusing to write some miles or miles sum or you know trying to keep it a bit simple here. But it could be more readable to actually express it here. Anyway, so we have meeting customer visit and mail entertain on top, which is what we want, but we still have that null purpose in there. So let's just filter that out by saying purpose 
is not null. I think that reads it very well, part of the reason why I like SQL. And that took care of that. We still have a lot of rows in there and we want to give out the top three. So let's just limit our output in this case. Oftentimes I think of that as a hacky, dirty solution, a messy solution. But for this case, it totally works and we're just able to limit our output to three rows. Now, I think what a lot of people do for this solution or this problem, our solution is accepted by the way, a lot of people create window functions and try to rank that purpose uh, based on the miles sum. Then assign a rank and then filter on that rank. I think that's not necessary here since we're unlikely to run into ties and it's not necessarily defined as we want to allow ties. And yeah, I think that just makes it a bit more complicated than it has to be and a bit longer in terms of rows of lines of code. I think we found a very minimal solution that works and that's always preferred in my opinion. Now, if we were to rank something like the most common amount of people in the car, if that makes sense. Um, we might run into tiles more easily if it's integer or full numbers pretty much. So I might consider using something else there, but in this case, this seems to work perfectly. So that's gonna be it for this problem. I'm just mentioning you could also assign ranks using window function and that filter on that rank, but I think for this question, we don't have to get into that. So that's probably going to be it for this video. My camera ran out of battery, so I'm not going to show my face again. But yeah, if you want to check out this problem, head on over to stratasjust.com. There are Uber and Lyft tagged company question. I think you should both do both of them if you're applying for one of these companies and you should be well prepared. I'm going to have a sponsor link down below to the site. If you want to sign up for the premium membership, you're going to support the channel as well. It's always a good thing. And apart from that, consider subscribing and just check in for the next video. Bye.